بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از چارلس ڈکنس چارلس ڈکنس از این انگلش گریٹ ناولسٹ ہی روڈ اے لاڈ آف ناولس ایٹ فرسٹ ویل گو ان ٹو ہیز بایوگرافیکل اسکیچ ہی واز بورن ان ایٹین ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹویلو ان انگلینڈ Actually, he was physically so frail and weak that from his biographical sketch we find that he caught a disease uh, which is called muscles contraction. He uh, had to suffer a violent spasm, a violent muscle contraction that uh, we find him unable to for, for completely Uh, for complete physical exertion and it was to his own luck that we find his father going to be imprisoned because of the debt he could not repay on time before that because of uh, poverty because of wallowing in poverty his father John Dickens discontinued his schooling and it is very much important when we see this young child penniless friendless worthless staying on the streets we find this was the result of his father's imprisonment and consequently when his mother decided to go in with uh, with him with his uh, with her husband into the prison with her four children he means charles dickens remained on the streets on feeding on the crumbs uh, thrown by the people he was actually in a very trying and testing times at that moment those three months were uh, were very much uh, effective on the little child but he did not marred his mental capability of writing it was actually a gift for him at the gate of the entrance of the prison his father had been quoted saying to his son the son had set upon him forever he said that son of son of progress the son of honor the son of prestige in the world had set upon him forever because of his imprisonment these were very testing days and we find that this young prince uh, who had to attain world fame in the time to come had to live on the streets on the crumbs on the pieces thrown by pieces of food thrown by the people on the sides of the streets later he had to work in a blacking factory dear listeners and we find this young guy had to earn a meager amount of money from which he could get just uh, the bread for him in the blacking factory he had to work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. for 12 hours a day and we find that Charles Dickens himself was so much internally disgraced that when he was an adult it was actually the time uh, of 1824 at the time when Charles Dickens was 12 years old when he was an adult he literally avoided he physically he actually he deliberately avoided going to that place visiting that place where, where he had to work hard so much hard uh, in a shameful environment then circumstances get further better a little bit better we find after three months in 1824 his father had been re- released and he started working to earn the bread for his family Charles Dickens find a little relief and he at the same time doing his jobs uh, concomitantly he started working on his uh, sh- uh, on his writing 
started sharpening his or honing his writing skill by trying on a novel and we find after 9 years in 1833 his first work came to the fore his first work was a dinner at the poplar walk actually that was a sketch and that sketch which was initially uh, been published without his actual name he selected his pseudonym uh, as bose and he wrote bose written by bose the sketch written by bose produced by bose and we find the climax the height of his happiness that he received public acceptance he received public encouragement while he published his first work encouragement he got from the public he made he produced he produced a lot of more sketches and he got it them published in the papers and journals dear listeners then when his power of pen gained a further strength he wrote a uh, novels and among his uh, uh, acknowledged uh, novels we find david copperfield bleak house and hard times and uh, also great expectations are his novels of fame this great writer died in 1870 at the age of 58 and though he was uh, he had died at the age of 58 not so not so a great age he received a lot of respect from the people living around him he had been received by queen victoria his daughter had been presented at court even peers and statesmen were among his uh, close friends and that was not because of the wealth he had earned it was all in response in acknowledgement of his recognition of his genius acknowledgement of his genius next we give a sketch of great expectations by giving a very much sketchy his uh, sketchy history or sketchy uh, story uh, we find this story be divided into three Uh, categories three parts three stages in the first stage we find little child philip berup being beaten uh, being humiliated by his own sister because he lived in his own sister having no home having no parents he was compelled to live in her uh, in his sister his sister was a callous woman uh, and he subjected his brother to punishment to beating along with her own uh, husband as well that was quite a strain that her husband had to suffer a lot of humiliation at the hands of his wife and further we see that the second stage starts and the, in the second stage this young hero uh, philip perrip moves to the london moves to the city of london and here he had an opportunity to sit among the people of various mental tendencies propensities and uh, he uh, had had to go further in education in uh, enhancing his uh, mental uh, progress and we find a change in his attitude towards his benefactors as well but later when he finds out that it was just the first convict who helped him to become a gentleman and helped him financially to live in london all the mysteries resolves and then this young man who lost his own attitude a uh, uh, merciful attitude merciful behavior comes back to that position and then he uh, lived like the person he had already been in the third stage all the mysteries are resolved and uh, his love for estella 
uh, uh, goes unfruitful goes uh, fruitless and we find that this young child becomes a gentleman in london and stays there this is the story thank you very much allah hafiz and goodbye